But <clears throat> Hello. Howdy. Welcome to the video game featuring me, the gamer, the supreme game, the supreme gamer, as they call me. That's what they call me. You have to take my word on it. You have to trust Dr. Trust me on this one. I have, and today, today on Ace Attorney Chronicles, I am joined by someone. I don't know. Someone's here. Hi. Hi. Hello. It's you. Kudos here, but uh, is muted at the moment. Yeah. I am joined by Ultra Wave Productions and Kuro from Mario. From the Mario Channel, the official and Mario Channel. And this one other dude, if I can get him. If he won't show up. Hello, there Sif. There you are. Hello, Sif. Welcome to the chat. We're playing Phoenix Ray. Huh? I've been kidnapped. Oh. Sounds fun. All right, so I got three dudes in here. Soliasora isn't here at the moment. Mm -hmm. But she will be, probably. Don't forget the screen share. Very oh, yeah. suitable replacement, don't worry. Mm. A very professional replacement. Only the, f the best of the best. All right, everything look good on your end? Yep. Everything A-OK? -okay? From Chapter Start. Doing Case 2 featuring someone. I don't know. Who, who could be appearing? I don't know. Too much ice in here. September 7th. 10 a.m. District Court. Courtroom number one. Ah. Who is Judge? You. Ah, oh. the court is now in session. Someone else can take him if you, if uh, if uh, they want. Yeah. Hello. 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 Welcome to the game. Hold on, I gotta turn this game down a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Hey, can you guys hear me? Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Wedgie. You W. Hello. Do you want to do judge? Sure. Why not? Okay. Epic. The court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Faye. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. I'd better not show any signs of weakness today, or he'll be on me in an instant. Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. No. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Faye, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder, and we have a witness who saw her do it. Wow. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Mm. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin then. You may call your first wit. <laughs> At 2001, <laughs> you may call your first witness, says the bug. The prosecution calls the chief. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, yes, the first witness, the detective. <laughs> I mean, the prosecution think... calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. That's not a witness. <laughs> not technically. Wow, this game sucks. Believe... Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir! My name's Dick Gumshoe, sir! Mm. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir! Ooh. Detective Gumshoe. Please, describe for us the details of this murder. No. Very well, sir. Well, let me use this floor map of the office to explain. <laughs> okay. The body was found by this window here. Uh-huh. And the cause of death? Window. Lot Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. What? The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker found next to the body, sir. That doesn't make sense. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even even in a girl's hand, sir. Uh, okay. 
the court accepts the statue as evidence. Mm. They're still calling it a statue. Your plans. Now, detective. Uh, yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? No. Can you tell me why? No. Yes, sir. I had hard evidence she did it, sir. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe, please testify to the court about this hard evidence. No. Maya Fay's arrest. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the I rushed to the scene. Uh huh. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. Wow. The very moment, you say? Wouldn't Phoenix Wright technically be a witness in this case? Um. <laughs> Like, maybe, technically? yeah, because he, he was there, maybe. Uh, eh. Yeah, he was there. Yeah. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross examination. Oh, thank and God. fucking hurry up. <laughs> thank God, I don't have to testify. Y yes, Your Honor. Cross examine what? I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Doesn't mean I can't make one up. <laughs> hey, I just threw something at me. What's this? When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness's testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It worked lots of times. It worked before. <laughs> I should have expected my witness know some of her sister's tricks. All right, let's give this a try. Something the matter? Someone threw a piece of paper at me. No, no, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cross-examination. Well, then hurry up. We've been staring at you for five minutes now. Mm. <laughs> I know exactly what I'm doing. A defense attorney knows exactly when to hold it. Who did you say you got a call from? Hey, pal, don't play dumb. You know who. The call was from a customer at the Gatewater Hotel right across the from the crime scene. Hmm, okay, I pressed. Not sure it did much, though. Right, please continue. There were two people there. Hold it. What if there was a third person? Detective Gumshoe, how long would you say it took between you receiving the call and your arrival at the scene of the crime? Ah, right. I'd say it was about three minutes. Damn, it's faster than most American calls. That's most pretty American fast. Mr. Panaportian. Oh. Our model this month is quick response. <laughs> this month? That's how I got here before the killer got away. <laughs> Sometimes we decide not to show up, you know. Sometimes our motto is less is more. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> and so nobody shows up. Indeed. <laughs> so, tell us who the two people you found on the scene were. No. Yes, sir. The defendant and the lawyer. Hold it, what lawyer? <laughs> Are you absolutely sure it was us? Listen, pal, your dumb act will only get you so far. With their funky heavy clothes and your spiky hair, you two stand out like, like suspicious people at a crime scene. Well, he does have a point about her. And you have several. <laughs> wow. She is pretty unmistakable, like my hair. I should pick my points to press with a little more care. Like my hair. Why is that? It's your reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay then. Fair enough. Hold it. Hold on just one second. Uh, yeah? I had heard correctly. You said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Huh? Uh, 
Uh, did, did I say that? Me? Uh, yes. I, I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. Exactly what about the suspicious woman in pink's claim was hard evidence. Uh, what? Hey, Miss Me isn't suspicious, and she sure is a pink pal. Uh, uh, I mean, well, well, well I, I guess she is pink. That's enough, Detective Gongshu. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Uh. Answer may surprise you. No! Hmm. I guess pressing can have its advantages. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> no! <laughs> yes. <laughs> but actually. But actually, yes. Well, shit, this got a lot more interesting. Oh, shit. Well, well actually, yes. Um, actually. <laughs> um, actually. God! Sorry, I, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. There was something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Uh, Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. And this time, have it make sense. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Bleed. Lab test results showed that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Uh, there we go. Is that a fact? <laughs> oh, man. How you like that? That's my hard evidence. How you like them apples? Before we begin cross-examination, I have a question for you, Detective. Uh, Your Honor. Why didn't you testify about this vital piece of evidence the first time? Uh, 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 I, I know, I, I'm real embarrassed I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to, try to be more careful. Very well, oh, the defense may begin its cross-examination. And do it quickly before I kill this bastard myself. Mm. All right. Don't worry, I will kill him with facts <laughs> and logic. Hold it! Are you sure it was your own eyes and not someone else's? And did you find any evidence? <laughs> now, now, don't jump the gun on me, pal. Just listen, I'm getting to the good part. I have a bad feeling about this. Hold it. How do you know that was paper? Just because you found it next to the body doesn't mean the victim wrote it. <laughs> but who did write it, smarty pants, you? Um, who, um... Oh. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. It was me. He's like, I did. It was me all along. Well, I'm curious. Oh, God. Okay. It, it, it could have been me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> so it was you. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying it could have been. <laughs> it could have been me. Hypothetically. Could you prove it wasn't? Objection! <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> so, you admit to this? You admit that you wrote the note? <laughs> uh, no. Listen to me, Mr. Wright. <laughs> this is a court of law, and I expect you to refrain from making thoughtless statements. No. Amateur. <gasps> well, detective? Tell us what was written on that memo you found. Okay, but I want to see. Uh, I want to see. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just going to do the killer. The killer? Anyone can see that. Huh. You're saying the killer wrote her own name? Buddy, please. Yeah, why not? She was framed! Objection! Hold on. If that's the case, where's your evidence? Ah, uh, er. <laughs> huh. I guess that was a bit of a tall order for you. Those without evidence shouldn't open their mouths, Mr. Wright. Wow. 
Yeah, pal. Arg. All right, so it's just the same thing. I I, I was curious if that would have led somewhere. Probably not. Hold it. Do you have proof it was Mia who wrote that? Of course I do, pal. Uh oh. Sounded pretty confident. This might not be good. Hold it. That's stupid. What kind of test were these again? Huh? What kind? Uh, uh well, uh, I hear they take the uh, little bits in the blood, the uh, hemo. He hemoglobin. Goblin subgoblin. Hemoglobin. Hemoglobin. Why this matter, sir? I know I spit on blood tests. Yes, that was quite clear. <laughs> you continue with your testimony. That was quite clear. I for gore. Uh, thanks, pal. Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, you're honest, sir. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe. Evidence Schmidt. Yeah. I think you can expect a pleasant bonus in your next paycheck. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was a mess. Right! Uh, where was I? Hold it! On hitch which hand was the bloody finger? The right hand! Is that a fact? Well, hmm. well she was right handed. <laughs> nice try! Uh oh. Guess it wasn't hard to see what I was getting at there. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. No, wait. I'm pretty sure it says. Wait, I think it says she died instantly. Yep, death of the Cetatius. Hmm, yep. gee, gee, I wonder. Hmm. <laughs> Active Gumshoe. You get a lot of cases where the victim actually writes the killer's name. Sure, it happens all the time in books and the movies. Oh, okay. This is this isn't a movie, detective. Of course, it's not. Some, uh, it's a video game, isn't it? Wait, it is. What video game? What? what? Shit! What? I knew it. I knew I didn't always look this pixelated. I'm not real. None of us are real. <sighs> Let's talk about reality, shall we? <laughs> Uh, I, I guess. I haven't heard of many cases, no. Don't you find it a little odd that the victim would write a, write down a name? Especially the name of her own sister? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, you, you got a point, pal. Objection! Uh-oh. Stop right there. The witness's opinion on the matter is irrelevant. The facts are clear. The victim wrote down the name of the accused. The victim told us the name of her killer. Rebel, 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 rebel. Order, order. That didn't go so well. Th that's right. What he said. <laughs> All right. Are you ready for the memes? I'm pretty sure I could just do this and. <laughs> Objection! Objection! Detective Gumshoe. Just one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim, Mia Fey, wrote this note. That she was accusing the defendant, Mia Fey? That's really what you're saying? What? This isn't one of your lawyer, lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course she wrote it! Who else could have? You have it backwards, detective. But but backwards the victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. But, but, but... No butting your way out of this one, detective. Wow. Order, order, everyone shut the hell up. The defense has a point. Thank you. Someone who died immediately won't have time to write anything down. Objection! Mr. Wright. I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? Just now. I found it. 
When? <laughs> I forget. <laughs> <laughs> the day after the murder, the day of the murder. I, I forget. When did I get this? I don't even remember. Is it the day of the murder? I guess maybe. I forget. I'm sorry. I, I forgot. Huh. Forgot you say. Uh, it was the day after the murder, Your Honor, sir. I was the one who handed it to him myself, personally. Oh. Right. Yeah. Prosecution's point being... That autopsy report is outdated, Your Honor. Yeah, mother yucker! <laughs> what?! I, I felt a disturbance in Your course. Honor! If I may... <laughs> if I may... If I may request this, can I... May the courts please turn the music off for a moment? No, 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 keep, no, keep it going. It is quite a jam. No, turn it off. This is very no. important. No, no, it is, it is quite a jam. Turn, turn it off. Okay. Son of a bitch, fine. <clears throat> <Do it. clears throat> Thank you, Your Honor. Uh oh, what's gonna happen? Oh, no. How dare you try to sabotage my case with Wait, hope what? shining from the eyes on your face. Miss Maya face, Lord of Mia with glee. You shall perish if you contest me. All of your evidence means nothing with this update. Now leave this courtroom, Mr. Phoenix Rides. You can save your clients from a fate. What the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> Did you have that plan? Is that scripted? Yes. Are you? Did you actually play that on a keyboard, or was that like pre-record? What pre-recorded? What happened? Oh, okay. <laughs> I, 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 I have no words. I'm baffled. I, I've found it. The second I've, autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. I, I am bamboozled. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object. Almost immediate? Is it immediate? <laughs> <laughs> Almost Christmas wasn't Christmas! <laughs> but there uh, is a possibility that the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I see, it's foreshadowing. I understand now. Also, hello, Kua True. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to Phoenix. Phoenix Meenix. Featuring these guys. I received these results this morning. Oh. No way! No way! No way! Your oh. Honor! Oopsies. It's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. How long is almost, though? That is all. Oh, okay. Uh, I see! Even though I detected a wide amount of bullshit! Damn you, Edgeworth! Should've known you'd have something up your sleeve. Should've known you'd pull something out of your ass. Why, Mr. Wright? You look shocked. Something you want to say? <laughs> You're a sham, Edgeworth. <laughs> the detective's a sham. I'm a sham. <laughs> I like these choices. I like these choices. You're a sham, Mr. Edgeworth. I've heard there's nothing you won't do to get your verdict. What reason could you possibly have? Had to request a second autopsy. That's right. The defense will refrain from personal attacks on the prosecution. That wasn't per what? No matter, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, say what you will. The evidence in this report is undeniable. Yeah, until the third report comes out. Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Uh, understood. The court accepts the evidence. This is bullshit. This is bullshit! Right, Your Honor. The evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. Wow. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. Darn. This ain't good. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. Uh, <clears throat> What's up? Nothing. What? Nothing. Nothing. Huh? You're good. You're good. Huh? Okay. This poor innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Is that a fact? 
Uh, okay. Let the witness, Miss April May, take the stand. Please, God, I hate this fucking pun. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what part of her is innocent? She's yours, Wedgie. <laughs> witness, your name, please. <laughs> Bro Murray, that's your service. Man. <laughs> I don't know. I'm actually legitimately going to voice her now. April May, at your service. <laughs> April May, at your service. Wait. <laughs> that's what I would have done, honestly. <laughs> okay. Order and introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. Wow. What do you think this is? Reaction? The witness YouTube? will remain from wanton winking! Oh, yes, Your Honor. <laughs> this is not good. She's already captured the heart of every man in the court. Tell us, where were you on the night of September 5th when the murder occurred? Um, gee, I was, like, in my hotel room? <laughs> I checked in right after lunch. And this hotel is directly across from the Fay and Cole Law Offices. Mm, that's right, big boy. Testify to the court about what you saw. No. And just about what you saw. Witnesses account. I've seen everything. It was like 9 o'clock at night. I looked out the window, you know. You know. And then, oh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dodged one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught her and, and she hit her. Then the woman with long hair, she kind of slumped. Slumped. The end. That's all I saw. Every little bitsy witsy wink. God damn it, what did I tell you about wonton winking? Hmm. God, God damn it, I'm gonna have to hold you in contempt of court now. Well, your honor? Well, what? I see. It is remarkably solid testimony. Yes, yeah, solid. You know. S like snake. I don't see a need to trouble the witness any. Wait, 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 your honor. Yes, Mr. Wright? What about my cross-examination? What? Your cross-examination? What the fuck are you talking about? I, I, I uh, mean, anyways, the, I thought that the witness' testimony was quite firm. Didn't you? Mr. Wright, I understand you and Miss Mia Faye's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Yeah. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults in perfectly good testimonies. Cowardly. Hey! Dude, you can't just say that in public, man. <laughs> How dare you! Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness and waste our time? Yes. You're a terrible person. Yes. I have lunch scheduled. Yes. I'll gladly proceed with cross-examination. Only because I have a feeling Edgeworth doesn't want me to. She has to have some weakness. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. She's weak to fire. You must use fire-based attacks to defeat her. Hold it! Hold it! Why, why did you? Why, why did you do that? <laughs> huh? Why? Like? Why? What? Why? Why did you look out the window? Were you expecting to see something? Oh well. Uh, gee. What? That, that's it? She can't get out of this question that easily. I sort of... You know... Wink. I had a feeling. That's not how the Force works. That's not how the Force works! Well, I have a feeling she's trying to avoid the question. Maybe I should press a little harder on this one? Go for Lord. it, my dude! Let's see how far I can run with this. Surely you must have had a reason to look out your window at that time of night. I... Uh, Objection! Mr. Wright, I will not have you badgering my witness. That's literally my fucking job. 
badgering. You insist on needle needling her with these trivial questions. Uh, yes, that's my job. I really don't think it should be allowed. I'm not allowed to do my fucking job. Well, why are we here? What? Why are we? Why are we here? Yeah, yeah, stop them! The poor girl. Uh. Order, Mr. Wright. You have been warned. Warned what? From doing my job? Poor girl. What about poor me exactly? You looked out the window. What did you see next? All that. The woman with long hair. That was Mia Fey? Uh, hmm. Slender, sort of. Well, some people might say pretty if that's your thing. <laughs> your thing? And the person attacking her. All that. What do you mean, mousy? How do you know she was the defendant? Where will be this? Huh? Well, you know... She had a girlish physique? Women know these things. Ah, of course. Look, I I just know, okay? There was only one person at the scene of the crime with a short girlish figure. Is that a fact? The testimony is bulletproof, Your Honor. <laughs> no, it isn't. He's right. Seriously? This is... I, I questioned the testimony. Hold on a minute. That, that testimony stinks! <laughs> what? That testimony's bullshit! Miss May, I'm willing to bet that... <laughs> I'm willing to bet you're fucking lying. <laughs> I'm willing to bet you saw nothing! Oh god, these are both great. I don't know, which one should I pick? What do I pick? Guys! I'm gonna pick... Don't want to say anything. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. These guys aren't helping me out. You saw nothing! Did you really see the defendant at all? <laughs> Mr. Wright! What's the meaning of this? Yes, what is the meaning? Somebody tell me because I'm clueless uh, about this, I mean. <sighs> okay. If he had really witnessed my client, Maya Fey. You would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. <laughs> no one wears clothes like this on a daily basis, except her. And I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. The testimony is bogus. But, but... It's full of shit. Still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. Uh, we, we, we kind of do. She was, Your Honor. I saw her. And so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? <laughs> what are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? You're full of shit. I saw what I saw. Or did you? I just didn't think all the trifling little details were necessary, darling. You're in the court of law. Miss May. You're in the court of law. The court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl, I promise. Wink. Oh my god. Your testimony again, if you would, and stop flashing your breasts in my face. Damn! I almost had her! And those breasts. Witnesses account. I did see everything I did! No, you didn't. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. The right, you say? Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. <laughs> the hippie clothes. And she hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. I tore. I tore. I did. I tore. I tore. What? What? Where did, where did Leon come from? <laughs> hey. hey. Hey, I'm a bit too early. <laughs> that that clock, um, a kind of statuey clock, the thinker, I think. Well, does the accuracy of, accuracy of my report not startle you? <laughs> well, it does. It does startle me, because how do you know it's a clock? I see. 
I only wish you had been so detailed from the beginning and stopped wasting your time. Begin your cross-examination. No. Now I don't want to. Do it. You have an Fine. Order. It's, it's only my job and shit. Mm, should I just skip straight to the obvious thing? No, no one say anything. I did that. That clock. I, ju I should just go straight ahead. Should I just go straight ahead, or should I just just press? Don't, don't, don't say no, anything. tell me, tell me, tell me right now. Tell me right now, Kuro. He's he's deafened. What the fuck? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I'll just press for now. A Glock? Didn't this come up in another testimony recently? Well, don't look so sour, Mr. Lawyer. You can't win them all. No, but I have a feeling I'm onto something now. Hold it! That's stupid! I hate you! Miss May. When, in, when you said... What you said just now was quite revealing. Sorry, I had a time, hard time reading there for a second. Revealing? Oh, you would like that, wouldn't you? Naughty Mr. Lawyer. Uh, I'm, just, I, I'm just going to ignore that. You just said that the statue of the thinker was a clock. There's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. Another person in much the same position as you recently called this a clock, too. And he was found guilty of murder. You fucking murderer. Order! You murderer piece of shit! Miss May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? Uh, objection! The witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. No! What do you... No, no, for no, no, that is, bruh, you're, you're really just going to try to snuff this one out, dude. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. No, no, Jesus Christ. Jesus. Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your question. Mr. No, Wayne. I will fucking not. <laughs> fuck you. Objection, fuck you. The questions are all I have, Your Honor! They are all I have! And as you may recall, I've caught murderers with these questions before. I'm something of a lawyer, you know. Well, only once. Objection sustained. You may continue to question the witness. Finally, I can actually do my job. Whew, that was close. If you stop me there, the trial will be over. Huh? What? 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 So, uh, what, what happens now? What happens now is you answer my f fucking question. How did you know it was a clock? What? Th th that's because I heard it. Yes, I heard it say the time. So you've been in law offices of Fay and Co. No! Hey, I, I, I didn't say that! Why would I go there? I heard from my hotel room! <laughs> the law offices of Fainco, where the murder took place, are very close to the hotel. It's not that close. She could easily have heard the clock. Well, how fucking loud's the clock, then? Mm. It, it's, it's very well, close, right? Are you satisfied? No! It's very poorly implied prior to now, but the windows were apparently open. Oh, well... Still. Still. No. No, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I can't. I just can't. It's my job. I refuse to give up yet. I, I refuse. I'm not satisfied because... It couldn't have rung. What? What couldn't have rung? What does that mean? She... What does that mean? They're both the same thing. She couldn't have heard it because it didn't rung. It did its rung. It, yeah, it couldn't have rung. I don't think that's proper grammar either. It couldn't have rung, rang, rung. Is it rung or rang in this context? I'd like to see you make video games and get everything perfect. <laughs> if I had, if I had a million, if I had Capcom money, you'd bet it would be perfect. 
It couldn't have rung. It couldn't have rung because clocks aren't real. Your Honor. Members of the court. It is inconceivable that the clock in question rang. The batteries are... It's broken. It's empty. Is it empty? I think they said it was empty, right? Is it empty or broken? What's the diff- I th remember- What did she say on the fucking- Hold on. Hold on! Let me check. It's not working? I had to take the clockwork out. Take the clockwork out. That means it's empty. It's empty. Fuck you. That clock is missing its clockwork. How could you possibly? Just have a look as soon as you can. Mm. Oh! See anything interesting, Your Honor? It is as the defense says. This clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Oh, I'm getting old. <laughs> we can't take foot in the court the meaning of this. Are you okay there? <laughs> I'm fine. Explain. I'm d All right. It is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have run because someone knocked its clock out. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar. Fat? Well, Miss May. Oh, let me guess. He's going to pull out an autopsy report that contradicts this. I'd like to see you pull an autopsy out of your ass this time. Quite a show you've put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty. He fucking knew. Somehow he knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty, as you say. It can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? Uh, probably before she was murdered. If it was after the witness heard the clock, and there is no contradiction. You gotta be fucking kidding me. They were talking and she said, I rem. Oh, fucking shit. Hmm. That's true. That is a possibility. No, it isn't. No, it fucking isn't. The clock might have been emptied after she heard it. No. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright, you gotta be kidding. Can you prove when the clockwork was removed? Yes. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Impossible, of course. I have proof. Thank you, Phoenix. What? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the f proof you like so much. The evidence that proves when the clockwork removed is. This phone. I swear to God, it's gonna be like no. Technically, no. Take that. Take a take a look at this phone I found. That's a very cute cell phone. Oh, you have a girly phone. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. This isn't my phone. Listen, listen, listen. Fuck. This is defendant's cell phone. It contains a recording. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order! Order! The defendant's cell phone? This wasn't brought to my attention! Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. Uh, good detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. My heart goes out to you, Edgeworth. Not! Let's hear the conversation. Me. Me. So, so you just want me to hold on to the finger for you then? I was going to say, we don't have to voice it if you don't want it. If you could. Uh, I should probably tell you. The clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. September 5th. 927 a.m. Damn good quality for a cell phone. Mm -hmm. I mean, what? Yeah, it's good quality for 2001 15. Your Honor, 
I think this recording makes it clear that the clockwork was already gone. It's 2016, excuse you. Oh, mm, uh, yes. I'm sorry, I forgot what year it was. And this was recorded in the morning before the witness ever, ever arrived at her hotel. <laughs> it's 20, 20, 20, 20. Well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know that weapon was a clock? You fucker. Uh, well, well, isn't it obvious? I saw that clock before. Bruh. Um, what store was that again? Uh, I killed so many. <sighs> Oops, I forgot. Wink. <sighs> oh, I've seen it before. That would make sense. No, it wouldn't. No. Does the offense have any objections, Mr. Wright? Yes, it was made by Larry, that fuck. Yes, the witness claims she has seen it before. But this con this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to the court. Well then, let's see it. Please produce this evidence. I will prove the witness had not seen the clock before. It's simple. This clock was never in any store. Ever! Uh, what? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. Impossible! Everything is sold in stores! <sighs> Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Yeah! I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, excuse is not on sale today. Uh-oh. What's it to you, porcupine heads? That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it. Die! Wow. Oh, oh shit. All right, better get involved here. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Whoa, 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 let's not get ahead of ourselves. No, we'll do the murder later. This is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. Nope. <sighs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Silly me. Did I um like lose it? I guess I did. Tee hee wonk. What <laughs> wonk? Scary. Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? <laughs> <laughs> I really like that spread. That face. Hmm. Oh dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because you heard about it, obviously. You held it. Beep. You held it! This is familiar territory. I'll just use the same approach as with Larry. Miss May held that very clock in her hands. That's all right. What was this? When she used it to strike the victim. When else? Order! Order! Murderer! Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? April, May, you killed me a fay, I say. And when you struck, the force of the impact made the thinker ring. That's when you heard it. Uh-oh, wait, Phoenix, hold on. Objection! Hey, Phoenix. You truly are a work of ours, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What's the, what, what is that supposed to mean? It was you who just proved that the thinker was empty. Oh. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, of course it wouldn't ring. What's more, the witness has a rock solid alibi. No, they fucking do. Wait, alibi? Miss May? Wait a minute. Perhaps you could explain to the poor, misguided Mr. Wright? Why was it this in the testimony? An alibi? You were in the hotel at the time of the murder. She can't prove it. She did it. It would be my pleasure. No, no way. No way. Yes way, Mr. Lawyer. Tee hee. 
Didn't the murder take place at nine at night? See, that's the exact same time I ordered some room service from the hotel bellboy. Incidentally, the bellboy corroborates the witness's story. Ergo, she was not at the crime scene. Rock solid. Why wasn't this brought up before? Uh, all right. Bruh, this really do be a bruh moment. Mr. Wright, you've just made a serious accusation to a perfectly innocent woman. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> Sorry, you Your Honor. That it didn't go so well. But if that's the case, then how did she know the thinker was a clock? Yeah, ex dude. Wait, Your Honor, I figured it out. I figured it out using science and stuff. There's one other way Miss April May could have known it was a clock. One way alone, and I have proof. Well, proof, you say? Then the court will examine your proof. How did the witness know the thinker was a clock? <laughs> have a look at this shit. Ah, oh, that! <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. I don't know what this is. Miss May, Robe, you were tapping the victim, Miss May of Faye's phone, were you not? Uh, uh, objection! Your Honor, this is irrelevant! I, fuck, no, 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 no. I'm not entirely sure that is. Objection overruled. Thank you, fuck. It troubles me that our witness was in the position of a wire. Yeah. That is outrageous! Does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely! Even if that was the case, which is not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? What? Yes! What? Yes! Can you prove that? I think not! Oh yeah, I think I can! It's simple! What? Here's my proof. It, it li they literally said it. What's up? I've called you in a while. What is it? It's a clock. It, it, Jesus Christ. I have, to do all, I have to do all the work around here. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock. S what? <laughs> You're not seriously going to make me do this. Come on. I present the defendant's cell phone. Dude. Yes, we've seen that. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. No. Beep. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Oh, well, oh, actually, oh, there's sick. something I wanted to hold on to for me. <laughs> again? What's it this time? Yeah, again? I know, right? <laughs> it's a clock. It's made to look like that statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. I'm missing lunch for this shit. Mm. Man, Miss April May, you used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I, I... Objection! Objection. <laughs> Your Honor, this is ridiculous! I know, right? This is stupid. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. Uh, witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? She was about to say lolly lule lo. They did it. Miss May! Shut up, all of you! What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You. you lawyer! Bruh. Bruh. Oh. Uh, it's not fair! All of you be hanging up on me like that! Oh, I'm so I am the bad girl, is that it? Is that it? Yes. Because you're in possession of a wiretap, regardless if you're involved. <laughs> that did it. The court's seen the real Miss April May now. Now to deal the final blow. Why the wiretap? You did it, didn't you? Uh, why the wiretap? Miss May. 
Why did you tap her phone? Answer the fucking question! Do I have to? You're in a court of law. Isn't this a murder trial? Is it simply tapping it irrelevant? Gah, she's saying exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. Solia! Miss May. Holy shit, is that Solia Sora from twitch.tv slash Solia Sora? With probably going to be the worst mic known to man. Yo! It's a pretty sick the mic game, you got bro. there. Gamer! It's the gamer mic. Nice. <laughs> this is earbuds, it's so bad. Yeah, it sounds great. This came though. for a bit. It came, come Not bad uh, for earbuds. Well, you're audible enough. You are audible. I'm audible you're, enough, you're, you're and aud everyone else is staticky. Let's go. You're audible.com. <laughs> I can't believe it. Man, this... you gotta subscribe to my um, audible promotion thing. Yep. Audible.com slash Soliasora from twitch.tv slash Soliasora. It's a really long <laughs> URL. <laughs> it's very long, and I don't think it's legal. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. This May. Anyway. You were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. While this court does not condone the defense's tone of speech, he has a point. What tone of speech? I was just saying the well, obvious. Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? At the time of the murder, I was in my hotel room getting a room service. How could I have killed her? That's not the question. If you don't believe me, just ask the bellboy! That's not the question either. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Even though that was highly irrelevant. <sighs> come on, uh, well, come on, think of something. Oh, interesting. Call the bellboy as a witness. It's a conspiracy, they're all in on it. Who the fuck is messaging me? Oh, it's him. Well, come on, think of something. Do I call the bellboy or do I continue examining? Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Well, clearly I have to examine, continue, because she didn't answer the fucking question. Right. On with the cross examination. <sighs> what exactly do you have left to examine, Mr. Wright? Uh, why the wiretap? She still hasn't answered that, dude. Miss April May has admitted to the wiretap, yes. She that didn't that's not answering the question though. We're asking. But that bears no relevance to the case at hand. Murder. Oh god. There's no way you can prove any connection. Are you for fucking real? Oh my god. But what if you're yeah. guilty? Yeah, but what if? What if? And okay, now hear me out for this one. Here, uh, what if you're guilty? <laughs> Good job. I don't know how I managed to do that, but it worked. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was perfectly timed as well. <laughs> no, 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 it, it, it's 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 uh, voice mods and uh, the emulator having the same uh, key uh, ah. macro. Yeah, because man, I. I can't believe I'm so guilty that I broke Mega's uh, emulator. Yep. Dang, I guess I can't. Wow. I, I can't defend against that. Solia Sora has the power of, of editing, of, of editing emulators, of, <laughs> of fucking with reality. Well, that's it. Good joke. Good joke, me. Thanks, me. Uh oh. Think this can't be the end. But I'm out of evidence. And I believe the cross examination is over. Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have any other witnesses to call? You didn't answer the question. None, Your Honor. She is the last. You didn't answer. She didn't answer the question. We asked why the wiretap, and we didn't get an answer. What? But that means she's guilty. And second of all, she's guilty. Wait. Your honor. Yes, Mr. Wright? The defense would like to call the bellboy, after all. <laughs> As I thought. What? May I remind you, dear Mr. Wright, should you question the bellboy and Miss April May's alibi prove to be solid, 
Then, by default, your clients, Miss Maya Fey, will be pronounced guilty. Yes, Edgeworth. You you learned you learned how law works. Wow, at least Ace Attorney Law. Wow, I can't believe it. He figured out how the game works. Proud of him. Are you prepared to accept my condition? No. That's never. the that's the court's condition. That's not your. That's that's the law in this game. I mean, your condition. You didn't invent the law. It's worth. I am the law. I am the law. I am. No, you're the up. You're I the updated am autopsy. The robot. law. I am the updated. Yep, that's that sounds good. The updated autopsy. And karma's the law. Fahad <laughs> Karma is the law. I've never had an issue with emulators being bound to the same keys as soundboards on Linux, because neither of them, because <laughs> neither of them run. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds about right for Linux. <laughs> I've never had to run Linux. There, that, that, there, there lies the issue. Yeah, I've never had an issue doing that because Linux doesn't run anything. <laughs> Edgeworth, he's got me backed into a corner, but I don't see any other way to take this. I accept the terms of the law. Very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. You would think the judge would be like, no, 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 we're doing this by the book. <laughs> You've fallen into my trap card. I believe that we're ready for the witness to testify. <sighs> Mr. Wright, I believe you've fallen for my trap card. Called, you're guilty. That's my trap card, you're guilty. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised uh, that rat skipped over that line. Wait, what line? What? Literally, okay, so if you uh, chose to uh, test to summon the bellboy immediately and not uh, try to continue uh, April May's testimony, Edgeworth is like, ha, huh, you've just fell into my trap. You fall into my trap. I, I planned that the whole time. He certainly does look like a bellboy. What? Wait, who's bellboy? He, yes, uh... Kuro. Oh, he's still he's still deaf and fuck. Yeah, he's literally just a limp corpse. He's right just now. yeah, he's just a he's just he's just kind of there, you know. Yes. Uh... He doesn't look like a bellboy. I don't see any bells on him. I don't see any fucking bells. I've been lied to. Someone lied to me. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. How quickly can you speedrun losing a case in this game? Very quickly. Probably takes longer than you think. Yeah, pro I don't know. I what would a speedrun for this game look like, actually? It's actually as bad as what you would think. When, when, when you play through the game, you're allowed to, like, hold down a specific button to just, like, not skip all the dialogue, but make it faster than what you were on your first playthrough. So, mm. that, that's that, so that's what it is. They just do it, and then they just maneuver around the menus quicker than everyone else. It, it's mm. about as... Yeah, that's all it is. This it's game is entirely boring. menuing. And thralling. Yeah. That's what it's I call can, it. It's who can menu it faster. Who who can who can hold a button faster? <laughs> I beat Ace Attorney with only half an A press. It still takes several hours because you can't you know, there's no <laughs> fucking there's no like going through walls and skipping half the game. Man, I wish you could just somehow do just that. Just wait until 1-5. <laughs> that piece set looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Wait, oh, wait, hold on, we need to get his now. name. We need to get his goddamn name. <laughs> oh well, whatever. Wait, Start call, talking. Wait, 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 hold on. This comment. Call me Bell. Mr. Boy is my father's name. <laughs> 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 I like that. Phoenix Wright speedrun equals novelization. Fair. Very good, sir. Miss May's room service. I am the hell- the head- <laughs> The hell boy? You gotta say hell boy! I am- I am the hell boy! 
<laughs> from his series Hellboy. Boy at the fucking Gatewater Hotel <laughs> in business for four generations. I can't get I can't get over that this is Watergate. <laughs> I believe I received a call after 8 o'clock in the evening from our guest, Miss May. <laughs> she asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her on 9 o'clock on the dot, sir. On the dot. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. So she wasn't looking out the window. I see. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't watched it. It's cross examination. Yeah, voice them as Hellboy from here on out. What does Hell watched it? What does Hellboy even sound like? Doesn't he he's like, I hate me, I'm Hellboy. <laughs> Say something like that, right? It kinda. <laughs> oh, it kinda sounds like this sometimes. It kinda sounds like this. Hey, it's me, I'm Hellboy. I'm here in Phoenix, right? Like, so, uh, Southern Badass, then. Yes. Yeah. Southern Badass. All right, I I'm ready. I hope. This is it. If I can't prove Miss May was involved with the moiter now. Buy it will be finished. Sell them badass Hellboy. Oh, I just remember testifying that lady. I can't believe that lady was Hellboy. Wow. <laughs> what exactly is it you do at the hotel? Why, anything required of me, sir? I check in guests, I check out guests. I clean rooms, I make beds. Anything I even deliver say. room service, sir. I checked Miss May del in personally. Huh? If you what? delivered room service, where was my uh, moose cake? I ordered a moose cake like 20 minutes ago and it still hasn't arrived. My apologies, I am I have been uh, subpoenaed, you see. Subpoenaed? But this <laughs> is a five-star hotel. It, that shouldn't stop you. Wow. I'm sad now. <laughs> Wait, she's on. She's on the I phone. Is she is she calling for f f for room service on the phone? Is he is he taking orders right now? It's like hello. The witness will put down his cell phone. The witness will put down his cell phone. <laughs> I'm sorry, hello, sir. Hello, hello. I'm, I'm just I just always prepared for calls. Yeah. <laughs> Are you always so so prim? Mr. Wright. Uh oh. <laughs> you will refrain from asking frivolous questions. No. We've already wasted enough time in this goddamn. Quit badgering the witness for fuck's sake. No! I would not! Hold it. Are you sure it was Miss May on the phone? And not Soliasora from twitch.tv slash Soliasora? Because I mean she sounded upset on the phone and you can you didn't get her moves. God damn it! Absolutely, sir. How can you be so certain? I checked Miss May in personally, sir. And this w and this uh, fine lady on the phone with me sounds much different. Oh. Get off the damn phone, witness! <laughs> Wait, uh, <laughs> man, it's weird how he, how he. I'm a very busy man. It's weird how he brought in like a telephone, not a cell phone. He just brought in the Wait, whole telephone. Who, who I'm sorry. Uh, who was that? Who was that that just said a hang up on a customer? I'd like to. Work, I would like to speak with them, please. <laughs> I would like to. I would like to talk to your manager. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to talk to your man. If that was your manager, I'd like to speak with him. <laughs> Guys, Ooh. wait. I ordered room service and I still haven't gotten a room yet. I can't believe it. <laughs> SMH. <laughs> Not only did I moves. see her in all her stunning radiance, but I also heard her voice. And then I saw them, and I... I <clears throat> the point being, I remembered her quite well, sir. You saw... them. You saw the aliens. Yes, what then? Is Kuro not here? He's in chat, but he's not talking. I can't believe it. I can't believe he wouldn't oh, show not, up. Yeah, oh, he's back. Here he is. Yeah, that's me. Hi! Hello. 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 How's it going? Are you ready to ace some attorneys? Yes, I'll ace some attorneys. A yep. Ace some attorneys. Nine o'clock on the dot, you say. That's not Christmas. That's almost Christmas. Yes, I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on the TV and wished to drink after she finished, sir. 
Nine o'clock. The time of the moider. Wait, 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 wait. Something ain't sitting right with me here. So that took some bullshit in your statement. Precisely nine o'clock then. Objection, you just asked that. No, I didn't. Precisely, exactly, and most definitely, sir. Nine o'clock PM to the second until I knocked on the on, until I knocked on the door. How could you be so sure? I wear a watch. Oh fuck, Miss I need May to get was one quite of those. Insistent that it be brought in then. Oh, bellboy, teehee, I'd like some iced coffee at exactly nine o'clock. Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on her door at the crack of nine, sir. Why would she be so particular about the time? Have you played this game before? Yeah. I've, and I have. And only this game. And only, only this, this game. game. Only this game. Only this game. Only this game. Only. Hold it! You are sure it was Miss Maple May herself. God damn it, Phoenix. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely? Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you're so very certain, you fuck? Well, when I bought in the room service, sir, uh, she... The guest, sir, favored me with a, um, an uh, embrasse, sir. What the fuck is an embrasse? Embrasse! Is that French for embrace? Is that French for ambassador? It's French for kiss, sir. But, but, but not a French kiss, sir. It's more of a peck on the cheek. <laughs> I'm glad we got that established. Well, why would she have done that? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my uh, prim demeanor, sir. It's the only video game you've ever played, full stop. Yes, I've played nothing else. No other video games. I haven't played Elden Ring. I haven't played Shadow Hearts from the New World. I've played nothing. No, nope. no, sir. I've played absolutely nothing else. It was the moment I shall never... Uh, ever forget, sir. Wow. That's pretty sus. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. Oh, it's over. Cool. It's no use! There's nothing he there. Is... is that it? <laughs> it's the only video game that's been played, full stop. <laughs> Finally, you understand. This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any de decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. Is the hug and boss say ever like a verb? I don't know. This is, the no. this is the first video on this channel. Momentous occasion. Yeah. Um, excuse me, where's my chocolate mousse cake? I've been waiting like <laughs> 30 minutes for it. God my damn it, hang up your goddamn phone, but... My Why? apologies, miss. I appear to be almost done here. Why is the wit Why is the witness okay. on the phone? That cell phone. Why is the witness on the phone? I, I, I can. Okay. Who Who's that in the background saying to confiscate a phone? I'd like to speak to them, please. I would like, like to put me on speaker or something. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, that's oh, okay. Okay, well, I guess she's going to talk to the judge now. This is super oh, awkward. Oh no. no. <laughs> Am I on speaker? I, yes, you are, sir. We can okay, we, okay. we can all hear you. I'm not as okay. Well, anyways, um, I don't know who any of you are, but I will cancel you on Twitter.com if you don't give me my chocolate mousse cake. And oh, oh. getting canceled <laughs> on Twitter.com is equivalent to excommunication to everywhere you can possibly think of in this day and age. Oh, Thanks. shit. Fuck. What is on Twitter? Oh, God, she's going to cancel me on Twitter. I don't know what that is, but it sounds terrible. Thank you. N no. MySpace. It was a bit tedious. Oh, yeah, MySpace. I know that website. I wouldn't just may leave the staff. Yeah, leave with your phone and stuff. I can't let this happen, can I? 
<laughs> Fuck just it. Give up. I just give up. Fuck it. I'm done being a little boy. Yeah. Wait. Please wait. Yes. Does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Objection. Your honor, I must object. Questions are pointless. Fuck you. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. Bro, moment. Now, now, Mr. Edgeworth. E E R conjugation. Yes. All right, Mr. Wright. I'll give you one more question. That's all. Uh oh. Only one. One. Uh oh. Fuck. Okay. 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 This is really it now. This is really my last chance, guys. Wink, 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 wink. What do I ask him about? Hmm. Let me see here. Hey, what do you think of this? <laughs> hey, hey, what do you think of this, Bellboy? What, what do you think about badge? Hey, what do you think about this? Wait, wait, hold on. What do you think of this? It's pretty good, right? <laughs> Why aren't we not learning about French? I suspect I specifically requested that. Dude, that's what I should do. I should turn this into a French channel. Learning French. I'm gonna learn how to speak French. Oh oui oui. Oh oui oui. Oh. the third game. Bonjour. 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 No, no, nobody is telling what happens in the th in the third game. What? <laughs> I won't. Nobody tell me what happens in the third game. Uh. What? Third game? What? No, what? Third game? what? There's no third game. <laughs> there, there's a third game. What? Wait. A minute. Ace oh Attorney ended at the Game Boy Advance game. There are no other Ace Attorney games. God, I only wish. <laughs> God, God, I wish. <laughs> God, I wish so I wouldn't have to put up with this shit. Room service. Tell me again about a room service. I feel I feel bad for him, Andrews. He hasn't played AJ. Uh, again, sir. Wait, UA hasn't played hasn't played no, a game? No no. No no no. I'm talking I'm talking I'm talking I was talking to you about you have playing a game. Oh I see. Uh, at exactly nine, uh, I delivered room service to Miss May in room three oh three. I can't believe I haven't played video games before. SMH. The guest had requested iced coffee. Eighteen dollars was the charge, as I recall. I see. What? Eighteen dollars? Jeez, doesn't that seem a bit expensive? Yes. Well, iced coffee for two, y you know. And we don't skip on the ice, sir. <gasps> what did he say? What did you just say? What the fuck did you just say to me, you little shit? Oh, oh uh, uh, rather, uh, quite. Uh, I'll go, therefore. Bellboy, tell us the truth now. Was someone else staying in Miss May's room? Objection! Object! That was uh, objectionable! You can't argue yeah. with that. Yeah, I can't argue with that. Like, mm. Phoenix, I think you just lost. No, Judge, it, it's, it's legal. Mm. It's over. Objection overruled. But as well answer the question. Fuck you all. Uh, well, yes, uh, I see. Uh, Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, uh, you, uh, you you didn't ask. Bruh. Nice try, nerd. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Uh, yes, quite, uh, in indeed. You fuck. <laughs> It was the, uh, the, the barrister there, Mr. Edgeworth, who... Huh? He asked me not to mention it if I wasn't specifically asked, sir. You fucker. <laughs> you fool! We have lost, so... I've done it. I've won. I beat the game. We did it, boys. <claps> beat the game. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, you beat it. Alright, that's it. Da, 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 da. That's the end of the stream. It's the end of the stream. I'll see you guys later. No, alright, let's keep going. <laughs>
I've done it. I've won. Cost the game. But what? At what cost? Miss April May checked into a twin room with a man. Correct. Yes, sir. Then, when you brought the room service, you didn't see that man in the room. That's right, sir. Mm. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who have made bur mur oh, pff, I've mur I've, I've murdered wow, my own. Was a, I've was murdered, murdered my tongue confused. there, damn. <laughs> we have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. First try. In this new light, I hold that it's impossible. Impossible to judge the defendant. You agree, Mr. Edgeworth? Who? Who is this other person? It was you. Simple. It was... It was the bellboy. No. It was the bellboy. God damn it, no. It was the bellboy. No, he's standing right in front of you. No. It was, it was the bellboy. It was him all along. It was the bellboy. The bastard. <laughs> it was the bellboy and none other. <laughs> it was you. You murdered. Well, this comes as some surprise. Your Honor, Mr. Wright, it was a bellboy who confirmed Miss May's alibi. And this in turn confirms the bellboy's alibi. He was in the hotel. Well, well, sure, if you put it that way. I do put it that way, and I trust you will too. <laughs> but what if? What if they were in cahoots? You have evidence of this? Yeah, look at his face. Uh, no, Your Honor. Mr. Wright! Sorry, Your Honor. Give me, give me one more chance. Simple, it was. The bellboy. You don't get penalized for that. That's cool. <laughs> Son of a bitch, you asked again. <laughs> <laughs> it was the bellboy. <laughs> it was the man with Miss May. The man who checked in with Miss May. <sighs> they, they weren't in cahoots, they were in Watergate. Your Honor. As has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone, yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the moid. My, what a convenient little setup, but it's too late! Too late? I suppose you like to think it was too late. Wouldn't you? You fucker! You fucking piece of shit! After all, it was you who hit the presence of the other man from this court. You fucking. Ah! You man hider. Upstarts! I'm a tar! Th These accusations are ludicrous! You're a man hider. Enough! The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and the defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Edgeworth is the Joker. <laughs> yes. Yes, Your Honor. That is all today for the trial of my affair. Court is adjourned. Gavel. Gavel. Bamp. Bamp. <laughs> September 7th, 2.24 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number. Wan. Mr. Wright! Ooh. You were amazing in there! Wait, Sully is right here. Oh, wait, no, she's not. Where did she go? The bellboy left, don't you, rem don't you remember? No, Solia, nine. She was just in the, the room. The bellboy left. Oh, she Where had to go. Oh. Oh, <laughs> well, all right then. Re really? I think I might be your newest fan. Oh, I was just I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> then again, that other attorney was pretty cool too. Wow. Huh? That face of his, with his eyes wide and trembling lips, it sends shivers up my spine. He was trying to throw you in jail. Well, if you say so. 
So, what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Well, no. I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But I got a great lead in today's trial. A lead? That man with Miss May. He's the key to all this. He's like Jar Jar Binks. He's the key to all this. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir! I'm gonna find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who... Maybe so. Sis... Don't worry, I'll find him by tomorrow, I promise. I'm counting on you! We live in a society. I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that got left on the record. May testimony added to the court record. Yay. I don't know how much good this will do me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigazione. Maya doesn't belong in the detention center, and it's up to me to get her free. Be to be continued. Continue. Well, nice. Save we... clear stage data up to this point. No. How we guys feeling, huh? Feeling good. What do you think of the game so far? I mean, I'm sure all. We should of be asking you that. I'm sure all of yeah. you have yeah, played honestly, already. Yeah. I, I mean, yes, we knew that. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> the same as I played it last time. It's a game. The game is. It's, it's absolutely. These visual novel type games are not my jam. They are not <laughs> my jam. Are they truly not? No. Not really. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, they exist. They they exist. They are they live in a. You to play this? What? Be real. Is, yeah. is she forcing you to play this? Yes. Not for <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, no, no. We're nah. playing this game or else. We're playing this game or else. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I wanted to do this because I thought it would be fun. It'd be fun yeah, with yeah. friends. Everything's yeah, better. Everything's yeah. funner with friends. Oh yeah, I I would never be able to do this on my own. I'd just be like, fuck this. First case done. Never playing again. <laughs> September 7th, 3.11 p.m. Detention Center. Visitors room. Investigazione. It, it, uh, it sounds Italian. Well, hello! Investigazione. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. I'm committing some investigation. It's really quite moving. Not! You s fucking lawyer, I hope you die! Oh, yeah, oh yeah. my god! Don't laugh! Yes, laugh at the fall of Miss May! Yes. I mean, no, no, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there's nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Damn. Got him. Oh. Ah, shit. Here we go again. Worst Please. Place in the world. Please. Please, you're scaring the security guard over there. That stoic man. <laughs> just... just Sitting there, just not unmoving. So, what is you wish to ask of me then, huh? <sighs> For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? See you, Sif. Or Sif, or whatever. Alright, Sif, have a good one. Peace. Sif. 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 Sif, like siphon. I don't know. That man. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. Fess up! No way, Josie. Josie? <laughs> Josie? It's, I think that's supposed to be Jose. It was no. intentional. Oh. oh. He's it's a jackass. You'll, you'll, you'll notice this very quickly. 
<laughs> I'm joking. I love you all. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. I can't believe he said that. <laughs> hmm. Syphilis. Maybe if I had Syphilis. something to get her to talk. What? Syphilis? Oh, like Syphilis. Syphilis. <laughs> Syphilis. <laughs> All right, well, see Syph. Ah, I understand now. I understand everything now. Spiky. It's all coming together. Spiky head. I finally know what Meg is hiding under that hat. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to see the spiky head? You'll you'll know more when you buy my hat. Buy my merch that I don't have right now. Shit. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Ah, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. Uh, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in law school, hmm? No, I learned that from elementary school. Creep. <sighs> this woman is impossible to talk to. Your fucking attitude. Say. Why are you so... Bitchy! I mean, you don't look like a bad person. <laughs> oh, that does it! Bottom feet, scum fucking lawyer! Whoa! B a bottom? Well, okay, that's drawn a line. Everyone knows I'm a top. Everyone knows this about Phoenix Wright. I can't tell. Does she have yes, a thing against law? Lord? Tell that to it's worth your hobby! <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Nothing. Let it be known that this man likes men. <laughs> <laughs> this man likes men. Effeminate man. Manly men. In manly man versus man. effeminate man. You lie, you bastard! You bastard! I can't you tell. Does, does she have a thing against... Virgil. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just me? Did you say Virgil? Did someone say Virgil? Hey, what's going Virgin. on? What's going on, Epic Dude sixty nine six? Welcome to Ace Attorney. He's in the Twitch chat right now. Oh, oh, oh you're, you're okay. doing uh, simultaneous streaming. I'm multi streaming, yes. Uh. Examine. I'd like to examine this man. Discard Mars Eh! Hey, how you doing? Hey! <laughs> well, wait, stop wait, wait. looking at me. Let me do my job. Mm. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, there you go. Check this shit out. Wait, can I not present it? Check this out. Hey, guess what? Actually, I, um, really hate your guts. So get lost, because, well, I'm not cooperating. Thanks! I noticed. But what do you think of this? Fuck. Okay, but wait, hear me out. Wait, wait, hear me out. What do you think of this? Shit. Wait, 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 what do you, what do you think of this? You know, did anyone check the receipt to see if it actually has like Mia's name on it or something? Like, like the receipt, receipt. Like maybe it has, maybe it has maybe April, uh, April May's name on it. Oh, man, this is a, a nice game. Maybe we should not talk about that. Yeah. Maybe we should not talk about that obvious flaw. That's not important. Uh, that's not important. Uh, no, 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 no. The department store receipt. Whose receipt is that? It's mine. I. I bought mayonnaise at the department store. Receipt? That's no receipt. That's a no. What do you mean, receipt? Check this out. Shit! What? 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 Huh? What? Check what'd, you, what'd you just say to me? Oh. What'd you just fucking say to me? Oh. Oh my Zan? god, the pain's gone! Just saying, just saying I hemorrhoids. Call. Never mind. Wait, what'd you I say? I call this, by the way. You call I this call man? This. Okay. But I've already done so myself, my boy. <laughs> September 7th, Grossberg Law Offices. Sure, your badge. Maybe she doesn't know you're a lawyer. You know? You might be right. Huh. 
Looks like Grossberg is outed today. Again. Damn it. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Shit. Well, time to go. Bye. I've been That's robbed of my opportunity. Examine. Wait a f minute. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah. Yeah, it was a painting of... Marvin Grossberg. Marvin Grossberg. I actually don't remember. Was it a fisherman? I think it was a fisherman. Wasn't it? Was it a very memorable painting? Anyhow. Sorry, I'm off on vacation at a friend's private island. Is that a fact? <gasps> What's this? Old what photos. That's my character. Fuck off, man. D fuck off! Something's been written in the pencil on the backs. DL6 incident. Exhibit A. DL6 incident. Exhibit B. The only time in this entire series you'll see evidence referred to as exhibits. Exhibit A! Uh, it's a woman. Yeah, exactly. You're right. Why is she an exhibit? I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will mouse just one little photo. Might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. It'll be a valuable clue to this case that has nothing to do with... Quietly added to the court record. Thief. Yeah, let's just take... So. Oh, it's that man! Photo lies on the desk. He's neither red nor white. Or blue. Ooh. Who? I'm a... I'm a mix of all three! Don't maybe, you know? Maybe I should switch it with the one I took. Yeah, swap. Yeah, that man looks familiar. I can't believe he murdered her. SMH. Who? Who is that? I've never seen him before in my life. Red, right, and blue. Why are we talking about the colors of the USA flag? Oh. Yeah. Why is his name Odd. Phoenix Wright? Oh, oh, welcome, Odd. sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh. Uh. Thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that, man. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the great waters rep, as say, say. Huh? Rep? I don't know what rep is. I'm a boomer. Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used the wiretap. We could charge a premium for the room, of course. It would be great for business, sir. Uh, don't, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's good for business. Whoa, whoa! Miss May hasn't been charged with murder? I too will become famous. Oh, wow. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee! <sighs> Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you are our honored guest. Please, let me know if there's anything I can bring you. What do you think of... What do you think of this? I'm sorry. All I could think about during the trial was the hotel. I wasn't paying much attention to the evidence. Paying more attention to your goddamn phone. That's what you. Wow. About Miss May. Oh, her, sir. Not a ghost, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it. I said. <laughs> uh. Okay. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. The man with May. I want to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, oh, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. Ooh. It was Bots. It was Larry. Damn it, Larry. Damn it, Larry. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the sense of danger. You yeah, you look. You would kill as well. Yeah, you look like. No, you. I'd only kill ladies. Oh. Oh well, then that's okay then. That would still kill. Well, okay, whatever. There we, there we Mr. are. Psycho total bellboy. Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. Gee, I wonder. Gee. Gee, I wonder. Gee. Take a look at this shit. That's him, detective. I'm not a detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. Y you know how it is. No. N no, I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. 
How about I write an affidavit swearing that it's him? An affidavit? This guy's way too excited about this. Have him write it! Well, sure, why not? Yes! I've always wanted to be... I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up and write it. Now show him your badge. You're right. Bellboy's affidavit. Not even Miss May can play dumb as this. The only country with a flag that has neither red, white, nor blue is Jamaica's. I dare you to find practical use for that information. Okay. Dude, okay, here's some practical practical use. Guys, did you know that Jamaica's flag has neither red, white, nor blue? Crazy, right? I knew it. And now I'm and now I'm going to make an edit of this video and make it look like I came with the up with that on the spot. Talk about practical. <laughs> Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely, sir. And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. Subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor. That's a great way to lose customers. I think what you should do is just rename it to Bloodwater Hotel. <laughs> what, what do you think? Um, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set, bud. Wait, wait, wait. Does this even have re reverb on? Hey, hi. Okay, yes, it does. Yeah, good. yeah. yeah you're on reverb. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the, 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 this thing on voice mod, it, it has reverb at zero. So. Zero. There's no reverb. It's. I just want. I just wanted to make sure. There's absolutely no reverb. You again? Can't you take a hint and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now. Yes. You don't. You just don't just have spiky hair. You also have a spiky heart. Yeah, it's actually a health condition. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. Sadly, he did not do that. Right? Is a liar. Wow, what a liar. Check this guy out. Have a look at this shit. Look, I've said several times, I'm not telling you- <sighs> Where did you? Aha! A reaction! This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? How? It is him. My this is the- oh, cool. It's this a... is... that it? This is oh. the man who. This is the man who stayed in here. <laughs> <For quite. laughs> okay, that was just funny. <laughs> this is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No, 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 that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Is negative reverb deverb? Probably. I'm gonna put D verb on that. Do you have proof it was him? Hmm? Yeah, proof. Show me proof. I'm so close. There you go. Did you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy's affidavit. He told us everything he saw. He told us about the man you checked in with. He told us who he was. Now I'm getting somewhere. Ease her fears. Push her hard! This is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb. If indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this photo to the press. What?! Even though he should be a witness to murder, this man is in hiding. I'm sure the press would have a field day with this reputation. <laughs> oh, fine, I'll talk! You, you win, lawyer! Yes! Man, that felt good. It's great to be alive! We 
are you pumping your fists in the air like that? <coughs> nothing, nothing. Now, tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red, white, the president and of the blue. information gathering conglomerate, blue core. Red, white, blue. Yep. Red, white, information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call him a detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you the night of the murder. I'm... I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. What? It's okay. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Mr. Red White. At last! Finally, a lead on this guy. If April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action! Discarded the bellboy's affidavit. Which is useless. Why the fuck did he do that? God damn it. Yeah, why didn't he keep the affidavit? That feels like, that feels important. Like, like written confirmation. Like, hey, I saw, yep, that's the man. He did it. He was there. Yeah, that is dumb. On that note, what do you think of this? Wow. I can't believe it. All right, cool. Now we're going to Blue, Blue Corp. Blue Corp. September 7th, Blue Corp, Inc. CEO's office. What the hell is that desk? What the fuck is that shit? What's with the surreal decor? What's the name? Welcome. Please what? first me with the title of your personage. What? What the? Your name. What's your name? I was just quietly asking you the title that you go by. Uh, right. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it? What right? I see. Splendiferous. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giant test vocabulary. What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Core. You know, corporate expansion official. That's not what that means. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the word elite challenged. What a fruitcake! Mm, let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this? What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man as such as myself? Yipes. Ooh, ooh, this guy's arrogance meters off the scale. Why did you murder her? Tell me about Blue Corp. What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Ah, uh, excellent question! We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future! You might say, we are the future! Sell information? In just 10 years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now! Ah, in case you were wondering, Blue Core was named after the color blue. Really? No! No! I didn't notice. I didn't know. I wouldn't have known. I, Red White of Blue Core, as founder and CEO, named it so. And why, you asked? Because I like the color blue, of course. Well, then why are you because... wearing purple? And pink. Yeah, I guess he's got a blue, like, how many blue jewels he's got on him, but still. Yeah. Actually, I'm, I'm looking at that sprite. I'm just, I'm noticing that the blue actually looks, it looks off like someone edited the sprite. <laughs> it doesn't, it, 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 look, it, it looks like this is a GBA sprite or something. Yeah, you know, you know. 
Dennis upscaled the sprites. <laughs> they didn't really do anything. Tabulistic, is it not? You know, I forgot this was a Game Boy Advance game. You, you right. Also, they actually have not upscaled the sprites. They, they, they just uh, added a little bit of a lower, lower portion. What? I thought they had to upscale to fix the, the, the screen. No, but, no, no, no. This, this is this is literally the same the, the same resolution. I mean, they they just they, there's uh, more screen space now. Um, mm. on the GBA, his lower half would be cut off. Ah, I see what you're saying. I see what he's saying is, is your GBA sprite or something. Yeah, I am a GBA sprite. I prefer, I prefer Dr. Pepper. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct! She was my secretary at... What a shock it was to hear what she has done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed! She has paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But as I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. Sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who could say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. Uh, maybe if you had an affidavit or something, you could prove I was there. My moral is, don't worry, be happy. Still, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy, has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. On what record? It's not like you just tossed it in the trash. God not damn it, Phoenix! Oh no my matter. god. <laughs> no matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases, I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'll be able to- you'll be capable of doing that. Hmm. He raises a good question, actually. Why didn't prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. <laughs> the police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys. Play things for my amusement. Hey, that painting. Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. I've seen it before. It's gorgeous. When did you get Gorgeous. I've seen it before. You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh? Just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple. Uh, rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your situate your position here. Same thing. I ask again, who are you? Who, 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 who? Um, uh, a lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing, zilch, zippo, nada. I bet you didn't even get paid for your last case. Wow. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grody Burger. Yeah, wait, did Phoenix get paid? I don't know. What? Uh, oof. Uh, uh, he, he punched me. Wait, what? Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Charge away. I welcome it, for it is you who is guilty. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. Oh, he's one of these guys. So you say, but I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. Shouldn't it be comprehension? You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume. Mr. Grossbirds, yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that his painting of his hangs here? Yes, there's a bastard love. 
It was a robbery. Then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now, skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. Okay. Sure. All right. Let's go to Grossberg's. Okay. Oh, there he is. Wow. So me? Yeah, it's me. Oh, it's a Grossberg. He's a Grossberg. It's a Grossberg. It's me. Oh, I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat. Ah! Jumping Jehovah Fats! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, you! What's wrong? You look so pensive. Like an old man at the end of his days. I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. Hey, fuck! Hey, fucko! Yeah, best music in the game. Well, one today's of trial. Yeah, this is pretty good music. I do like the music in these games. So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes, I did. Something was bothering me all last night. You see, couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just me a sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. Tell me about your refusal. I asked before, but why did she refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. A right, Mr. Wright? No, no, sorry, it's just... I need more time to think about it, my boy. Um, he does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. <laughs> so, I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh, oh, I see. <sighs> Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... Why wouldn't you defend Maya, you fuck? Mr. Mr. Grossberg, sir. There was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp. Red White's office. Oh, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. C connected you say? Yes, and I know what it is. Please, for the love of God. You're lovers! Please pick it. Please You're not. lovers! It's not something I could claim to understand. But you and Mr. White are lovers, aren't you? What? My boy! <laughs> you sent that painting to him! As a sign! A sign of undying love. M my boy, please! You're letting your fancy <laughs> run away with you! Where do you get these bizarre ideas? I... I don't understand how you could... That's because I'm not! We're not... Don't be ridiculous! Ugh. Enough. I'll swallow my pride and tell you all. Oh, okay. Yes, he the tells you in this room. I knew it! They're lovers! <laughs> okay. No, we are not lovers! Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Core is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of those photographs. As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red White will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? 
He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves, and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than a weight of many years. DL6 incident. What is the DL6 incident? DL6, nothing more than the sorting code that the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium, a spirit medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Faye. Faye? Indeed. She was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. But who committed murdery? But why were you blackmailed over this? Grossberg? The DL6 incident was a top secret case at the time. Top secret black project! It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. They should have used an extra medium. But one person found out. I... I told them. This case is security level red. Not even I have access to the full file. Hmm. Security level red. You mean security level red white? <gasps> I see now. I understand. It's all connected. <laughs> You told White? He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment. Because I talked, police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it, and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet, if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mi Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Is that a fact? Hey, tell me, what do you think of this? Sorry, my boy. I don't think I can help you with that. Damn. Get the hell out of my office. Shit. Damn it. I failed as a lawyer. Oh, ch ch failed. It's funny. Look at this room. It seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. Uh, nope. That's not what I'm looking for. This painting! It's a clue! An old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. The phone! That's, that would be his desk, perfectly clean as always. The only thing it's missing is... Mia. Hmm, I see. Can I not move around the room? Is this it? It's just... That's it? That's all I can look? In the bookcase, my boy. Oh, the bookcase. I didn't even notice that. Sky's blue, and so am I. That's, a, that's just a weird line. <laughs> Sky's blue, and so am I. All the cases the chief ever worked on are filled here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? Um, I don't know, that one. See if there's a, there's a record in this file that catches my eye. No! A B. <laughs> no! A <laughs> B. Oh. A Misty Faye, it's me and my mother. Should I take a look? Eh, leave it be. Ooh. I have tarnished the Thane name, leaving only these words, my mother vanished. 
I was determined to find the ones who had made my f my father my my mother Gosh, yeah, Lord. my mother blame herself Keep in this pleasure. way. Yes, my father using the ESP that runs in my family. I held an audience with the dead. <laughs> He's a joker. Yep. Joker's in this timeline. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. I'm, I'm sorry, it was the fashion. The other was the other was a man who sold the information to the press. This oh, parasite. That's a very bad impression, Mr. White, sir. No. What? What impression? That wasn't doing any impression. I I would never do an impression of Heath Ledger's Joker. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and, and caution. It sounds more like that uh, slug lady from Monsters Incorporated, sir. The slug? You mean Ross? What? His <laughs> name was. His name was Mike Wazowski. <laughs> you never turn you in your paperwork last night. Wazowski. I'm watching you, Wazowski. Always watching. I'm watching you, Wazowski. Always watching. <laughs> Record says here. So me and New Grossberg. I bet I have to look at every single one. Maybe. J, yeah. J through S. Nothing much in here. Skim! Well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. Biggest part's here at the end of Ness. Suicide? Ew! Suicide? Ew! Ew! Ew. <laughs> she has a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. Just writing out most of these in pencil. White. This is Mia's handwriting. Wait. Wait, I get it! Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to... I could use these new newspaper clippings. Hmm. Let's find the most disturbing one. Yes, let's find the most disturbing suicide clip. <laughs> let's find some the most disturbing suicides. Should I check Mia's files once more? Yep. Eh, why not? TZ. TZ. I know, W, white. The entire W section is missing. Uh -oh. was, was it taking? Taken? It was wow. taking. It was taking. Wow. Hey, well, now what? Well, now what? Go do the Look, dumbest Mr. thing Rice, possible sir. and shove it in his face. Yeah. Wait. That's a good idea. Yeah. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself, but it seems a message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I may I fear a nasty accident may occur. I'm suddenly starting to sound British. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. You, 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 you. <laughs> Dude, this, this man thinks he's British or something, huh? Oh, Can't... yes. The sweet smell of lemons. The sweet Can't smell wait. of lemons. Here, look at this oh, shit. Yeah. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the smell of uh, fresh lemon, you see. Mm. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. You Get it right. Do it better than me. Lem lemon juice. This is the only clue that Mia left me. I'd better make this one count. Mr. White. You Come see this on, shit? Don't show it to his face, or just kill yourself right there and there. See this shit? It's an article describing the citizen this the citizen. The suicide of a politician. Da da da. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day he took his own life. And this concerns me how. I found this off. I found this in I, I, Mia's office. That sounds like a good thing I should be telling you. Miss Mia. She had a file. 
filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. I'm White. I'm idiot by telling him this. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. You blackmailed him. You are blackmailing him. Blackmail? Oh, shit. Eh, probably didn't need that. Not just him, either. You are threatening and coursing hundreds, I'm thousands, of, millions! Of Sorry, go I'm on. currently in the process of killing yourself using the force. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've been force killed. Bleh. You underestimate the power. I can't believe Ray used force kill on, on the... And Emperor Palpatine, wow. <laughs> she just went, now you die! Oh, She's you her favorite now character. Uh, the, power of the, dark side. <laughs> the dark side! The dark side. God, that ending. You will die a very slow and painful death. <laughs> that ending was stupid, though. You can't stop me with one lightsaber. Well, how about two? Oh, fuck. Bleh. It was a good ending. It was the best ending. 10 out of 10. Could, could, Star Wars couldn't have ended on a better note. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you were involved in all the suicide cases that me investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? Splendiferous. What a bizarre accusation. <laughs> Splendiferous. Mr. Wrong. What is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, 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 I think not. No, no, no. No! You should be the, you should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Beep. Secretary's off. Secretary's office, hello. Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir, I'll send someone right away. Wait, Is wait a second, wait a second, Mr. Mr. White. <laughs> Mr. White, you're right. Igari! 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 You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me, Moy. What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? I'm gonna take you to law, motherfucker. I'm gonna take you to law school. Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you suddenly disappeared, mysteriously disappeared. So, the culprit would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it! I mean, <sighs> I mean, technically, he could hire Hitman, you know. Hey! Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. What? That's you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The mere Fay case. Oh, what is the murder you see? Oh. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quite chewed? I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. Bruh. What? What man? Even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man? What? Mr. White, this isn't another one of those. Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Damn. Well, all right. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You're a mere lawyer. As was Miss Mia. How dare you? 
I'll point the finger at you, and you'll be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends at the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they, may, if it, they make even you look incompetent. I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir! Ah, butts! Harry butts! Right, actually. Phoenix, right. And my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. Sorry, pal. Uh, butts was that murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. W what? Take this despicable human and being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Don't show the killer your important papers again. Yeah, wh why, why did Phoenix yeah. do that? Why was that the right move? Because he's green. That's why. He's a noob. He's a noob. That's what I mean by green. He's, a He's an noob. amateur. He's an idiot. He's stupid. September 8th, 3.37 p.m. Detention center. Visitor's room. <sighs> I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be in on it. Of course. Edgeworth included. The attorney was assigned to be by assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Maya, you're the you're the attorney now. Good luck. God, if all right, Mr. Wright. Oh, Maya. Great. They let you out of detention. Well, it doesn't look much different, but just now, yes, it's all thanks to you. Huh. Now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean you? I explained what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother. My sister. Now you. This has gone too far! Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Uh, well, defend me in court! Defend me in court! Defend me in court. Please, br help me break out of here! Defend me in court. Alright, you can be my defense lawyer tomorrow. Alright! Huh? Leave it to me! I am Mia's sister after all! Lawyership runs in our blood! Was it an ESP that ran in your blood? I better run to the bookstore and pick up a copy of Law for Rookies. And then go past the bar! Wait, 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 I've got to give that man a piece of my mind! Just a piece? Okay. Then, come to court tomorrow. Come to court tomorrow and defend me. Okay, right. I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two! To be continued? It's the beginning of a new century, yet with crime, it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finish in a day. Most with a guilty verdict. Never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself. Tomorrow, the true culprit will appear as a witness. This is it. It's me or him. To be continued. I'll be the roundabout. Words will make you out. All right. Nope, that's it. We're done. We're done for today. Don't forget, don't forget to save first. Uh, I hit the save. You, you, you have, you have saved, but uh, uh, save stage just in case. Save state.
Save just one slot. All right. Epic. What did you guys think? Good. What a terrible game. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely dreadful. I hate it. Zero out of ten. Worst game ever. Ever made. It's, it's the worst game ever made. I can't believe people like this shit. SMH. I'm, su I'm surprised Yo. that this game would ever get a sequel. It's that bad. Wait what a minute. Happened? You tell me it got an entire trilogy? What? What? Wait, you're telling me what? It's an entire series? <sighs> they got, the series. Game crash? They got series and shit? Side series? They, have, they have, like, oh. spinoffs? No, it's, we're, you got an anime? We got an anime! Oh, no, okay. That's the end of the game, Kuro. We're done. We're done for today, for this stream. Oh, GG's. GG's. Yeah, alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you guys for joining me on this adventure. This attorney adventure adventure attorney as they say in japan that's what it's called in japan right this definitely gaya ten sai gakuten saiban yeah ten saiban genji 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 overwatch saiban this is a pro genji move yeah. right here yeah okay <laughs> go wikipedia wikipedia the free encyclopedia Oh shoot! No! 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 Not that website. All right, guys. Okay. Bye. I'm in the stream right. now. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye. 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 Bye.